all of us were in the same place. We're in the same room, so in the same room it's all about marketing and getting your, your games right. Good vibes, good food. We love Kampana. It is one of his favorite restaurants. The concept here is a gambashu. Like any restaurant you'll find in Karutura, and that's the whole setup here. That's the idea here, because it's Kasi vibes. Yeah, so that's what we are doing here. Okay. Oh. Just having a good time. Do you see yourself attending the next Cassie vibe? Always. Always. I should always be a Cassie vibe. What will improve the vibes for you? Alcohol. How are you enjoying Cassie vibe this year? Just started. Just started. So we're hoping for the best. Do you see yourself attending the next Cassie vibe? If you invite more beautiful ladies. I've been to all the Cassie vibes ever so, since the beginning. Getting new customers. New customers. And it's the it's the main objective. Mm. Yeah, and it's so far it's picking up. It's a great idea, you know, for more people to come. It's like in the location, so you can. It's easy for access. There's a lot of uh, activities for kids, which is really good. The kids, the kids are motivated in this Cassie vibe. Cassie Web um, is an exhibition platform for upcoming and established SMEs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's basically going to come together, don't worry. Where did you get the Cassie Vibe name? Why Cassie Vibe? Where it's being held, the location, um, it's in Katutura Semnyoma Stadium, Dolam for that mm -hmm. matter. So we're just in the end, I mean the event is also mostly aimed for the youth, so we thought of why, why not go with Cassie Vibe? Who are the people mostly allowed to apply for Kasi Vibe, the um, stalls and stuff? Mostly youth, the Namibian youth, as long mm -hmm. as they have um, good ideas, they have businesses and they want to showcase their services or products. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a registered business already? It doesn't already. have to be a registered business. It can be your business that you're running from home and it's not yet registered. Okay. You are used to, you are allowed to, to, yeah, take part. to take part. Can you tell us more about the project you're selling here in Kassiba? Okay, right now it's like a street theme. Mm -hmm. And all of this is self-made. So it's funky. It's you, you're being creative. Being creative, yeah. It's art. Uh, yeah. So if you feel red today, you paint red. Is it the first time concept is showcasing their product at Cassie Vibe? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. They've been here the last Cassie Vibe and the one before. This is the tiny real food stand. So what we sell here is fresh food from um, Lambert Mouth, Buck Row. And then all the chicken products that they have, pasta and puff. Is it your first time at Cassie Vibe? It's my second time. Okay. And I'm so impressed by the progress that has been made. I make most of the stuff in the shop. Okay. I've got a few partners that assist with um, material. Like we've got a Chiwambo projects bringing, selling me baskets. I've got some young men making wire earrings. Uh, we've got a few ladies that do some of the baskets, the bucket hats, the bonnets, etc. Okay, so what motivated you taking part in Cassie Vibe this year? Um, it's actually our first time to, to, uh, to partake and it was because of the interest we've seen 
uh, we see that the youth are very much going into being comfortable, being African, loving who they are, finding their identity in their brand of the African print, the Ankara, African earrings. So I thought this would be a great platform to showcase my goodies. Uh, actually, also the first time that I really go this big. Usually, I just do this from the boot of my car. Oh, my okay. daughter sells most of the stuff. I was actually about to ask, <laughs> where do we find you? No, no at no, this point in time, we've got a, we've got um, <clears throat> we've got an Instagram page. You can order from us. Our focus is mainly accessories. We don't. We don't really want to go into clothes and shoes. No, it's it's accessories. Accessories. It's what what rounds off the outfit. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank yes. You. Okay. So tell us more about House of Gin. Well, House of Gin is an idea to actually just. Uh, Try and accommodate all people from all walks of life and just try and combine and have a good time. Get to meet new people, hang out in a safe zone, of course. So, you cater gin only? We are dealing with, uh, with as you can see here, we, we've got a few cocktails on the house and we've got uh, gin and mixes. So, we've got a variety of gin and, and we combine them to make our cocktails. Okay. So, is it um, House of Gin's first time at Tassie Vibe? Or? It, it is our first time. Uh, catering here. So do you look forward to joining the next Kasi Vibe? Or if the opportunity affords itself, then of course we'll... How do you manage event safety, seeing that it's in Dolam, in the Tura? So. It's our eighth edition. So far we have not, there has not been any criminal or um, acts around the event. Mm -hmm. um, we have the support of the Namibian police, the Witu City police, and we definitely have security services that are on point. So we definitely take security issue very serious. Okay, so upon re registering for a store and let's say you change your mind, you do not want to be any more part of it. What are your cancellation policies for the um, and refund policies? We, we, we used to do that, but it's a business and yeah. it affects us badly. So before you even, you know, there's a process you apply for a store. After mm -hmm. applying for a store, you have a few, then you're also given a period to pay for a store. But specifically already in there, it says that we do not, unfortunately, we do not refund when you have to cancel, we do not refund. However, you may transfer your store to the next event. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, boys, we hit the jackpot this time. Jackpot this time.
the jackpot this time. How do you manage your event success? Um, how do we manage? Um, I think at the end of the day, it's all about working hard, mm -hmm. um, planning in advance, and executing the tasks. That's how it's where it is today, I believe. So how many sponsors does Kasi Vibe has so far? Um, it, it, it varies from time to time. We don't usually have the same sponsors all the mm -hmm. time. It's usually different sponsors all the time. But I have to, definitely we have been having the support of Coca-Cola and NPL um, for quite a while now. But it varies and ready bites. But in most cases it really varies from time to time as it goes. Then you have different sponsors. Okay, thank you. Okay. So what's Kasi Vibe's 2030 vision? Hey, Where do you see Kasi Vibe going you know, um, from here? Um, this is now 2020. It's our first year that we'll also be venturing out. Mm -hmm. We'll be having an Easter edition and that will be in Wolfish Bay. Wow. So Vision 2030, I'm seeing us probably in Zimbabwe, Malawi, you know. Join so us so there. you don't plan on rebranding Kasi Vibe at all or maybe no. moving from venues like, okay, you're going to other towns, but we let's say in Windows. Branch out, uh, moving venues. I don't think we're going to move out. Of, if we have to move out of um, Sam Sam Yuma Yuma Stadium, Yuma. it's still going to be somewhere in Katatura or Kumanzda. You know, because it has to remain Kasi vibe. Yeah, also because then it's also more or less closer to the community and the target market um, for Kasi vibe. Thank you very much, Musalmi, for your time Pleasure. and the information. Pleasure. Yeah. So, what what last words would you want to give out to anyone? That, that's interested in joining, wanting to come to Kasipat, but they're not really sure, they're, you know, um, they are, what, what would they be missing out? Definitely number one, to come and support the exhibitors, mm -hmm. uh, very important. Number two, to come and experience what Kasipat is all about and live with the experience. That's nice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Yeah.